giving you a voice, and making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. Cool. All right, so breaking into the top ten, um, Justin's going to lead us off. Uh, we had mentioned them a little bit earlier, but it's going to be Team Twenty Fifty Four. From Hopkins, Michigan, Hopkins High School, it's the Tech Vikes. 50 wins, only five losses overall, and we're the winners of the Lakeview and East Kentwood District events. So nice return to the top 25 for the Tech Vikes, and with 50 wins this season, who can say they don't belong? This past weekend at East Kentwood, the Tech Vikes ranked fourth and kept in the number three alliance comprised of 1918 and 5675 and had to eliminate the number two alliance uh, led by 67 and 27 in the semifinals, like Mike had already talked about, and did so with two uh, scores of over 100 points. So it was just an incredible match play. In finals match one, I thought our score at Long Island was impressive. This was finals match one was unpenalized 117 to 114, which is crazy, crazy good matches. So if you haven't seen it, I know I'm sure that's the video we're playing it's right the now. Only, but it's the only match yeah, that's currently it up on TVA. Yeah. So. It, it's, it's really the only, it's, it's the best one to watch. But if you haven't seen the entire match, uh, go watch it. It was just really, really awesome. But a great second uh, banner for the Tech Vikes and uh, the FIM champs is really going to be special to watch. We are really seeing what um, the game is turning out to, to look like at the highest level because uh, that's what they're playing in Michigan right now. Justin, when, when you when you first think of Tech Vikes, what do you think of? I don't know. Uh, I, I, I think of the powder coat. Yeah. Yeah, the white powder coat. And they're yeah. and they're yeah. 2012 robot. Remember? They, yeah. they, they're the yeah. robot where the team drove on the ramp. Drove on them, and then they drove on the on the oh, back, yeah, back right. on the ramp. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah it's like the clip we just go. saw. That's right. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, good stuff. All right, moving into single digits in the ninth spot, another FIM team. <laughs> That's right. Twenty-seven, sixty-seven. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, and Kalamazoo County, four H. It's Strike Force with an overall record of twenty-eight and six. They were the finalists um, at East Kentwood. Uh, district event so maybe a little high for them but um, they're defending Detroit championship winners they're coming off a five banner season last year Um, and this past weekend at East Kentwood they were second with a 2.91 ranking score average with three unicorn uh, matches so it was just kind of cool strike zone a team and strike force uh, were teamed up together in in the finals there and um so they, I think they were calling strike strike zone, but with uh, spelled um, the strike force way. So that was kind of cool. <laughs> so they they would uh, lose the number three alliance in the finals that we had kind of talked talked about a little bit um, a little bit earlier. And uh, currently they're ranked twenty second in FIM, so um, uh, definitely doing well this season, especially in a dense population of FIM. And uh, they're here at number nine um, this week, so we'll see them going forward. But congratulations, uh, twenty seven sixty seven. Something to ask, and maybe those who are from FIM in chat right now, I'm, I'm just curious because I haven't had n- enough opportunity to watch Strike Force. Uh, so, is Strike Force like are are they where they should be? Is it they just had a couple unfortunate things that they didn't win their event, or um, should they be further back? Like, what's kind of your opinion on, on that? I'm I'm really curious because their robot to me looks awesome, just like watching this right now, right? Uh, but I don't know if there's a you know, if there's something that Strike Force is really well known in Michigan, or uh, if they are truly as good as what they're showing in the rank wise, I, I'm curious to see. I mean, their ELO is at 11, right? So they're, uh, you know, according to ELO, they're right where they should be for something like that. So that's that's why I'm kind of curious on where that is. I think people are, are chiming here. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of potential we're seeing. Um, just they, the, yeah, not peaked yet. So um, yeah, so it looks like the best is still yet to come for Strike Force and. Um, really just been awesome watching in the championship uh, these past couple of years and um, just doing really well. So hopefully we'll see we'll see him again here and uh, we'll see see what everybody's talking about about him. But. Sideways Elevator Game says uh, robots broke down at both events. Uh, Skyhawk says uh, both event losses were not due to twenty seven sixty seven not peaked as a robot though. So yeah, cool, nice. All right, so, uh, man, FIM's getting a lot of love now. Uh, we're going to move on to our eighth ring team, and that's going to be team 5460. I know I'm going to get roasted for this one. And it looks simple to, it looks simple to pronounce, but I thought about it. <laughs> From Lapeer, Michigan. Just to Michigan, say it wrong, then. Yeah, just, just La- it. Lapeer nice Community thing. High School, it's strike zone. 20 and 10 overall with the finalists at the Kenwood District event. So I'm glad the lack of a blue banner did not deter voters from giving 5460 the credit they deserved. They were the number one seed in an event in Michigan that included 2767, 67, 27, 2054, 1918, among others. Mm-hmm. So in the hotly contested finals, they put up a full rocket 
and got Bat to climb in the last few seconds. I know it was the match we just watched, but in the closing seconds, it's like hatch, ball, ball, go climb, go, uh, go, uh, get back on the hab. And it was uh, really awesome to watch. So even though they came up a little short, um, earning their first blue banner of the season at Fim Champs, I'm sure would be a deserving uh, and acceptable end to their district season. So good luck to Team 5460 Strike Zone. So now that we're kind of through uh, a lot of the FIM teams here in that that little chunk, man, I'm just so excited for uh, the FIM champs because it's going to be just yeah. amazing to watch. The level of play is going to be so high. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, FIM wasn't getting a lot of love, but they just had to wait. They just had yeah. to wait. That's something you're willing to wait for, I think. I guess. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the, the longer you, as long as they're on there. Yeah. yeah right. Exactly. <laughs> so, cool. All right, so we're going to take a quick break from FIM and talk about <laughs> Team 987. From Las Vegas, Nevada, and Cimarron High School, it's the High Rollers. They have an overall record of 33-3, and three, and they were the winners of the San Diego and Las Vegas, um, San Diego and Las Vegas Regional. So um, I'm not going to say too much here because I kind of want to really hear from Tyler, who was at the Las Vegas Regional this past um, event, but I'm just glad to see them bounce back, quote-unquote. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and saying that it doesn't mean they haven't been playing well because they've been picking up regional wins but just not as dominant as we're used to seeing 987 um but they're picking up two regional wins here um third banner they got a woody flowers finals award for clinton barnes um but yeah like i said they're still doing well they're still picking up regional wins like i said they won the las vegas regional last year um but yeah so tyler seeing them i know you visited their shop like a year or two ago as well um but what can you what can you say about 97 yeah, from 97, I, I totally agree with you, Mike. I, I think last year for them was, you know, there's a lot of transitions going on, new drive coach, a lot of things happening with the team. And this year, so like last year, you look at it, you're right. I mean, they didn't win the Las Vegas Regional, but they weren't the Alliance captain. They weren't the most dominant team out there. Here at the Las Vegas Regional, they were hands down the most dominant team. Like it wasn't even close, in my opinion. And 97 just looked absolutely on fire. Uh, completing rockets left and right like their last match like they just chose not to complete a rocket because they didn't need the rp and they were just trying out new strategies for playoffs right like that's how much of a buffer and lead they had uh, at least that's what it looked like to me but uh so yeah 97 absolutely back at, at its peak form looked absolutely amazing i had them in my top five uh, of teams this week so uh, they, I mean, they just look so phenomenal to me, and I can't wait to see even more and more. Uh, Mechana wheel intake for the win, by the way. Vector wheel intake awesome. for the win still. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the robot, yeah, just I, I don't know why I can gush more about them. I mean, they, they are back in their uh-huh. peak form. They have two limelights on their robot, by the way, which is mm-hmm. uh, pretty crazy. Uh, I, did, uh, I didn't have a chance to do too many behind-the-bumpers videos. I did do one in 987. Uh, so right. I, I'm about a week behind on cranking out videos right now for that. So uh, we will get to theirs at some point. I also did an interview. Uh, that I didn't have time to process, so I apologize about that uh, for the win uh, after the event, so we'll make sure we get that as well, too. But, uh, yeah, high rollers, uh, look out for them. If, if you didn't pay too much in mind other than last year, maybe because there wasn't some limelight action that happened in 2018, uh, but in 2019, holy cow, are they uh, looking absolutely phenomenal. And big shout-out to Clint, uh, by the way, for taking the Woody Flowers Award. It was uh, fun to watch in the field because he Clint was the lead scorekeeper, which means that we had to move him from the lead scorekeeper role because uh, he was a Woody Flower. He was like they, he he knew he was a nominee, right? But he didn't know uh-huh. he won, and some of us knew he won because we had the scripts and that sort of thing. So they moved him over to an official scorer role uh, during like right before the award ceremony, uh, and then we bring him down. So just to see uh, all that happen was such a magical experience uh, for cool. them, very well earned uh, from from Clint as well too. So congratulations to him on that uh, and to ninety seven for an absolutely fantastic event. Nice. Awesome. Awesome. Cool. Thanks, Tyler. All right. So our last one for another little break. Um, We're going to hear about Team 971. From Mountain View, California, Mountain View High School, it's Spartan Robotics. 30 wins, 5 losses, and we're the winners of the San Francisco and Utah Regionals. So the 971 machine has been firing on all cylinders all season long, and they kept up that pace this past weekend in Utah. They ranked second behind Lambot, but joined them on the number one alliance. The alliance had a battle through rubber matches in the semifinals and the finals, uh, but eventually came out on top. So 971 is primed up for their championship event in Houston. And, guys, I feel like 971 is always one of those teams that um, maybe flies under the radar just a little bit. And I feel like this year especially – behind in the you know mad town in the poofs but i don't know if you guys have had a chance to watch 971 they really have a phenomenal robot um and i think it's going to be uh, a special thing to watch in houston 
They're in the same thing as what 987 was last year, right? Like, they, they made a good rollout, but it just didn't perform to their expectations. Uh, yeah. And you look at them this year, and it's it's they're back in peak form once again, and they're yep. looking absolutely phenomenal. And I agree with you, Justin. Yep, I think they're really going to be uh, something to watch. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.